Hello everyone, it's Metal Monster here, and we are here in Fallout 4. We are continuing our Let's Play of Fallout 4, not Far Harbor. So it was E3 yesterday, and I saw all the cool DLC looking kind of stuff. It was, it was good. Shame Elder Scrolls 6 wasn't there. But, uh, yeah, we're getting a Skyrim remastered, so, uh, yeah. it's good for the console players. So, first of all, we are going to talk to Nick. Nick? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> True. You keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. And Not hard. as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, yep. this agency, and my job. Thank you. No problem. Happy to do it. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus Thank a you. Little something extra. You know, Ooh. if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself Will do. comfortable. So I have uh, messed around my controls a bit. So I have bullet time now. And I've been doing some stuff. I'll explain after. You're trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Well, there was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but remember they called me the backup. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? Uh, so we're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. The Institute? So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. My lord. It's got a prototype anyway. Either way, uh, I need to find Sean. Either way? I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh, well, let's let's talk about the bald-headed man. Uh, one of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Wait, that was wrong one. Uh, no, they never said names. No, they never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Oh, jeez. Maybe another kidnapped kid. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Mm -hmm. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. 
Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. The table has disappeared. Snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Oh, it's pretty big. So yes, you may be wondering why my character is uh, very scruffy looking at the moment. It's been a few uh, few weeks since. You know, since I got to Diamond City, been doing odd jobs, mainly tinkering and stuff. I managed to earn a house. And that's about it. So Didn't now we're getting Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing lately. Well, the character. I, I, I've been doing Far Harbor. And Skyrim. Alright. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Will do. If I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Sure. That's it. Ah. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. He must have. Behind this. I'm not wasting any ammo. Uh, oh, I can never remember Place this part. Small to you? I figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. But I, but no, Kellogg. I cannot remember the Kellogg theme. Is I my wonder? Nothing here. Oh. Did you check out that desk? Yep. There's something there. Well, that's one way to find it. Interesting. Now look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Um, San Francisco sunlights. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets. And cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. True. I wonder if Dogmeat could chuck it down. I wonder if Dogmeat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Uh, I actually want you with me, Nick, so I don't die so quickly. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. That's a song. I am not going to give Kellogg a chance to speak to me at all. He killed my wife, so I'm going to kill him as soon as I see him. Uh, mainly because I have a modern, and if I don't kill him, he will kill me very quickly. What's in this safe? I don't remember this being here, because it's placed on top of that. Sweet. Oh, yeah, it's, it's another mod. That's cool. Nice. So, yeah. E3 was kind of cool, wasn't it? All that Fallout 4 DLC revealed. You got the, uh, the first workshop. It's like contraptions, and then you have the vault. Oh, hello, dog meat. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. 
Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Let's go in the pitch black. Because that's clever, isn't it? I'm gonna get my power armor on so I could take a sniper bullet to the face and have half health. Have half health. Get half health. Out. Like, power armor is very powerful in this game. Well, with my mod on. Water. Well, I have a lot of. I don't know what weapons I got. Have cool. Think I'll uh, use this for a bit. So yeah, you got the vault. One and then you have Nuka World, and that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It looked very big from the E3 trailer, so that looks alright. I'm uh, not looking forward to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim remaster or whatever. I heard that you can you just get an upgrade if you have all the DLCs and the game and everything. Head on inside to the better to the better graphics and lighting, but. I don't know how that's going to work with all your mods installed, so you probably have to inst uninstall all your mods and then reinstall everything. So. so I'm going to turn auto up <laughs> auto updates on Skyrim off, so just in case when I'm doing my Skyrim Let's Play, it doesn't balls it up. Got something more? Hmm. Hellers must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. Mm -hmm. I see a cigarette. San Francisco sunlights. I'm telling you, that Kellogg's nose is second to right? none. We you got, got to stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy, let's track him. Let's get going. Anytime. There we go. I wonder how long they stay marked for. 135. I haven't got many bullets. Hopefully this will be enough for uh, Kellogg. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry dog mate. Oh, that was a legendary one. There's a lot of them here, isn't there? I'm gonna see if. Bullet time has loaded. Yes, it has. Yeah. I'm gonna put my flag, my flag in there. There we go. Cool. I think bullet time will help a lot in this let's play. Considering if I'm, if I'm caught outside my power armor, I am going to be dead very quickly. So where were we before we were... Ah yes, uh, Skyrim! So I better turn auto updates off just in case it messes up with all the mods and everything. Because and... I've been testing out an AMB to see if it'll work with... Looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes open. Bloody bandages. Bloody no, bandages. I mean, track this. That nose is second to none. I know, Nick. Shut the hell. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Come on. 
Is he going to go? I think that was two stem backs or two pipe pistols. I don't know. I won't use bullet time all the time. Actually, I am going to configure it right now. So, current time. Well, I want the default one, yeah. Uh, AP cost. I want it to cost a hell of a lot. Initial effects, yeah, fine with that. Cool, Leo. Where'd you go, dog meat? You good? Shot you a few times, dog meat. Uh, I don't mean it. So, I don't know how it's going to work with all your mods. I'm. I just hope that you don't have to remake them because I doubt what mod. Mod authors was one to make them, remake their mods for uh, special Skyrim because it's already been done for the base game, and there's so many graphic mods you could use. You could basically make the special edition. So yeah, I hope it's just a, uh, it's not like a totally new thing. Hopefully it'll be more uh, sturdier too. Sturdier. More stable. Sturdier. <laughs> oh dear. See, I'm hoping that. Oh my gosh. Come on, dog mate. <laughs> Woof. Found Again? I know the drill, I know the drill now. Oh. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Down. One of his creature comforts. Oh, so he sat there. What? So exposed. Why would you sit there? To track Kellogg, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? Don't ever do that again, Nick. I almost shot you. Um, had to do it at pitch black. Yeah. Oh. Come on, dog. Mute. Sure, will be fine. Although, Dishonored 2 does look good. Nice one, dog meat. Damn, dog meat. Nah, stay with pistol. Nothing much. So yeah, Dishonored 2, that looked alright. Uh, I haven't really been following that game because uh, I just don't know about it. I don't know, it's like squished or what is... Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Um, this had to be Kellogg. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Can I take his head or something? I feel bad for leaving him here, to be honest. Ooh. 